Downy mildew is one of the major fungal diseases of grapes. It's capable of infecting the leaves, the cluster stems, as well as the berries. The fungus overwinters on the ground below the vines on old leaves or in the soil, and then wakes up about two to three weeks before bloom starts. The spores establish themselves on the leaves and then produce new spores that will spread to other leaves and parts of the vine by wind or rain. The new spores from these secondary infections are only produced at night when the humidity is close to 100%. Under the right conditions, the fungus can complete an entire cycle from spore germination and infection until a new crop of spores is ready to go in only four or five days. Downy mildew produces yellow or reddish brown lesions on the upper surface of the leaf. If you turn the leaf over, you'll see the white fluffy spores from the organism in the same spots as the lesions on the other side. When the disease infects young clusters early in the season, you can often see that same white fluffy growth on the flowers and stems. The disease will prevent flowers from setting berries and will cause young berries to shrivel up. Clusters that are infected later in the season will have berries that don't soften up and ripen like healthy fruit does. The disease can completely defoliate a grapevine before harvest, which will keep the fruit from getting fully ripe. Vineyard practices that improve air circulation around the clusters and help the canopy to dry out faster after a rainstorm or a heavy morning dew will help to control downy mildew. But unless you're growing grapes in a mostly dry climate like California or eastern Washington, you'll still likely need to spray some kind of fungicide to keep downy mildew in check in most years. Be sure to check with your county or regional extension program for suggestions on what kinds of materials can be used to help control the disease. This has been Hans Walter Peterson with Cornell's Finger Lakes Grape Program with the Vit Minute.